Hello everybody, this is going to be a guide slash tutorial on how to beat Mikalash, host of the nightmare, Hitless. For this you're going to want some poison knives, or if not, have a, quite a few throwing knives or multiple cocktails. You also want to be having a weapon that does a decent amount of damage to get rid of the skeletons, as well as bolt paper and beast blood pellets to speed things up, that'd be also good. Uh, but starting off into the first phase, first thing we have to do is clear through some skeletons. First one we want to come across is at this corner. And we want to get rid of these because they will uh, follow us down. Uh, for this we're using the saw cleaver which has a pretty uh, pretty nice combo, an R1, L1, R2 I think. Uh, but whichever weapon you use, uh, use the sweep attack if it has one, horizontal one because they do move around to the sides. Um, so Miklash can do two things, he's actually done the uh, nice option this time where he's just gone straight right. But I'm just showing you if he does come up here this is the route you would go down. And then when you're in this position, he would then run down the stairs in front of the room we want to lead him into. This time he was nice and just went right straight away. So we could have just gone straight after, but that's the route you'd go down to get him into this position if he went that way instead. Get rid of this final skeleton in front. <clears throat> okay, this one just collapsed on its own, so we just have to wait for it to get up and finish it. Now, we are going to lead Miklash into this little uh, this mini room here and get him so he's going to be against a wall. You want to be attacking him only when he's against a wall because if he if he's not, he can do a back step and a quick attack. So, uh, we want to only be striking him when he's against a wall. Uh, but here, we're just making sure he's not going to do a tentacle attack. Tentacle attack is, has a very long range, but it's a very like thin hitbox. So, we can pretty much uh, sidestep it pretty easily. So, we... Hit him whilst he's trapped against the wall, and then if he does this attack, we just move to the side. Don't even need to uh, dash or dodge or anything like that, we can just walk to the side. And then we only strike him when his back's against the wall, uh, to make sure he doesn't get a chance to backstep. In this position, we could throw poison knives, as the poison would take effect and damage him whilst he's going over to him, but in this case, I just struck him because I didn't have too many poison knives. But if you wanted to, you could throw some poison knives there before finishing him off. Or finishing this phase, of course, which goes about halfway. For next, we've got two mobs we've got to deal with. So up these stairs, we want to lead the first mob we come across down. And when it does a jump attack, we're going to let that happen and then run past it. We're then going to run up and into the left corner just before the next one, as the arrow it shoots will go into the pillar. We're then again, we're then going to go up to Mikalash. So Mikalash can do two things here from this position he, he, we always find him in. Either left or forward. If he goes uh, left... Uh, I'll just show here. He would then drop down, and from here, you would throw poison knives, let poison do its work until he's dead. Uh, the way it works is if you hit him whilst he's down here, he'll uh, disappear and reappear uh, in the same spot down there. So you would just throw poison knives and let poison uh, kill him. Uh, or if you have a ton of throwing knives or a ton of molotovs, you could chuck those as well. Um, and you can also drop down and do a uh, plunge attack to that doorway that you then run through. And then trap him against there to get a couple of hits in. But I would highly recommend just getting some poison knives to finish him from up there. Uh, it's a lot less effort. Otherwise, if he's gone up straight up, we follow that path through to down here. Uh, shoot that second skeleton because... Uh, I think I make a bee of this, actually. Here I do. Uh, I went for the wrong attack because uh, un untransformable weapon. Uh, but shoot that second skeleton because the first one we can deal with as it's getting up. But the second one has already formed, so shoot it to knock it down to get rid of it uh, as it gets up. Uh, for this, you're going to be walking around the right side so that Miklash doesn't notice us. If you just walk slowly, hugging the right wall, he never notices us. We can then go behind him. As long as you're next to the wall and walking. Uh, it is a bit tricky to get rid of that skeleton, but you'll get the hang of it. Uh, and at this, this point, I forget I don't have enough health to uh, to get some bullets. So if you just give me a minute, I'll actually notice. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, but then we sneak in behind, we shoot his back, or you can throw a throwing knife. And now he's in this permanent loop where he will appear from the doorway. And we strike him and he'll come from the window, I should say, or the mirror. Uh, and we can just pretty much do this loop until he's dead. So before uh, shooting him or throwing a throwing knife, you could also buff with bolt paper, fire paper, any sort of buffs. Uh, if you have plenty of them in order to just speed this up. But otherwise, this is a just loop you'll go through. So in both cases, whether he goes upstairs or to the left during phase two... Uh, you have a strategy to deal with him where you don't actually have to fight him. In that room he normally goes into, you're either at the top when he goes left, throwing poison knives down and finishing him through poison, uh, or through multiple throwing knives, or multiple cocktails, or you do this strategy and you just strike him uh, until he's done this way. Uh, if he does, if you do lose him, if he, if you drop down, if he goes left, or if you miss a strike at this point, 
then I would recommend using the Bold Hunter's Mark, go back to the uh, to the lamp, and just start this fight over again. First phase isn't tricky, it's just the skeletons that you just have to have a good combination with. Like I say, get a weapon or the weapon that you have, try to use the horizontal attack that it'll have, a sweep attack, uh, just in case the skeletons move to your left or right. Uh, but that's that. If there's any queries on that, anything at all, then point in the comments, I'll be happy to answer. And as always, there's the written tips in the description. Hope that you found that useful, and I shall catch you in the next video.